The sun is finally shining here in North Idaho. So we promised our kids if we could get all of our work done that we were going to take them out for a fun adventure. So we just need to tie up a few loose ends, address a few things inside our tiny home, and then we'll be good to go. Yeah, we just have some small things we need to get wrapped up. It is a beautiful day. We like to get out and play. So we're going to make sure that we get things as dialed as we possibly can so that when we finally do hit the ground running once again, doing bigger projects, we are all dialed in, or at least as dialed in as we can be for the time being. Yep, let's stop chit-chatting and get working so we can go play. Let's do it. All right. is getting our walls completed. Where our wall sheeting meets our ceiling sheeting, we have a four or five inch gap. That is because we decided to use eight foot studs to give ourselves an extra few inches on our ceiling height because this is such a small space. It did, however, leave us with that little gap. So what we're focusing on today is getting the inside and outside gap filled in with OSB. Here you go, Tim. Thank you, Heidi. You're welcome, Tim. The front wall is done, the interior 
walls that we already have in are now done as well. We have a little bit of time before lunchtime before we're gonna take off. So we're actually going to take some of the lighter items that we can carry up a ladder and get them up on the loft so we can get some of the stuff off of the floor space in the garage. We really need to clean up down there. We don't have stairs yet, so we can't get anything big and heavy up there, but I think we can get some stuff cleaned up before we go. What do you think? We can do it, let's go. Let's do it. You got that, Melissa? <laughs> Can you handle it? I'm contributing <laughs> by carrying this little piece of wood. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay, so we're up in the loft. We were able to get a whole bunch of stuff moved up here. Brand new loft, brand new floor space. Very nice to have this space made available to us because it actually freed up a ton of room down in the shop itself. Unfortunately, it's also miserably, miserably hot up here you because smell. we are higher. I know. <laughs> Look at how sweaty I am. It's it's really hot up here. So yeah. we're about to shut this down for the day. No more work. Time to go play. Yeah, definitely time to play.
We have made it to the big payoff on this hike, which is the suspended bridge, which goes over a churning river. It is a little terrifying and intimidating, so much so that last time we came, Nevea was not willing to cross the bridge. It's high. It is high. She finally did make it though. You nervous? No. No? We're going to do this today? Yes. Kira, how about you? You nervous? No. Not at all, right? Because you're brave, unlike somebody. Navarna. You ready, Eli? Hermione? Yep. Mama? Let's do it. Here we go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't shake it. No, don't shake it, for real. So the best part about this hike is there's an ice cream booth in the parking lot and we're gonna go get ice cream. What kind of hike has an ice cream stand at the end of it? An awesome one. <laughs> Got a little sum. Oh, we're back in the car, and as soon as we close the doors and we're done with our ice cream, it started to rain. So that's kind of been how it's been every single day. But we had a beautiful hike, 75 degrees. Pretty cool. Yeah. Alright, guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. I want to thank you so much for uh, tagging along, hanging out, and uh watching the video. Greatly appreciate it. As always, hopefully you guys enjoyed um just seeing a lot of the beautiful sights that this area has to offer. So. Yeah, it was a nice day. Productive and fun. So thank you guys again, and we will see you guys next time. See you guys.